Good morning everyone. Here comes another house tour video. Uh, we've moved into the ranch a little over a year so I thought it would be fun to walk over and talk about what we've done. Um, it seems like yesterday I just gave you the six months tour with the Christmas tree decorations. Um, so I'm just gonna focus on what has changed uh, over the last six months opposed to everything we've done. Uh, a lot of things you see in uh, the exterior were done before the six months tour and the only thing difference was we added two artificial trees those are actually artificial Christmas trees um, you know but the lights don't work and uh, you know they're free on Craigslist so we got them off Craigslist washed them really well took the lights off and thought that it would be nice to cover you know kind of conceal the trash can and uh, um, the hook for the hoses a little bit um, all right outside really didn't change much the yard front yard and side yards we have not done anything to them but weeding um, and there's a lot of weeds guys <laughs> spring was not easy um, so let's go inside most of the stuff actually happened inside um, here's our front door that we made over six months ago um, and uh, here comes the office. I mean, the biggest thing we changed during the last six months is probably this office. Before, when you walk in, what you see is a blank wall here. But now we have this really nice opening to Slav's office. Um, let me close the door here. Behind the door, we really store this dog bed. And then during the day, the dogs will just stay here and uh, watch what happens outside. Pretty nice life for them. Um, <coughs> so, Slav's office used to have a main opening to the hallway, but now the hallway is closed and uh, this opening was made. And we put a whole wall of bookshelves here. Uh, so this is something we really, really enjoy lately. We haven't done anything to his desk, which we really need to expand. You can see how many things he has. And uh, our plan is to do the window. But in the meantime, just enjoy this connected living space. Um, so this is the office. And then spin around the other side of the front door. We've got our... Um, living room I think the biggest change of the living room is probably the layout and oh we got the sofa um, and now everything is off the wall and you can see a lot of switch plates everywhere because we're smoothing the wall right now and after we paint everything you know we'll hand art and stuff it will be a lot more decorated but right now it's just you know basic function a sofa our record collection a seat I already sit here at night listening to records, um, dining table and stuff. <laughs> My farmer's hat is on it because I'm a pro to planting roses. And a little cart holds all the electronic stuff. And Roxy. Uh, we haven't done anything to the uh, bathroom and the kitchen, so I'm not gonna really go over any of that. So we did do a little makeover in the pantry and now it holds a lot more stuff. And uh, we did something, um, we, uh, when we were doing this office, we actually reversed the office closet to facing the bedroom. So the bedroom now have his and her closet. But Slav is still sleeping there, so I can show you. <laughs> but I'll show you some pictures and I'll put links in the posts. All right, so majority of other things happened during the last six months, besides the office, is actually in the backyard. So let me show you. Oh. Look at all my little plants. I call this window, particular window, so the emergency room of my plants because everything I rescued and everything I took cutting off kind of bumps back here. You can see how nice the new shoes are. I mean, this window cell is just magical. And uh, we're getting more girls on the jasmine flower as well. So, now let's go to the backyard. 
the backyard really has changed a lot um, on the right side we got a bunch of vegetable beds put in one of the things we did is we um, mid-may we dug down about 10 inches and put in those three vegetable beds those are potatoes salad greens tomatoes and a bunch of other stuff but we decided to give the no dig method a try so very recently i haven't blocked about this yet we made three more beds next to them all of them are four feet by 16 feet so it's a lot of growth space and it was like about two to three feet in below uh, in between those two are made with the lasagna method so i just layer like cardboard and compost and stuff and the other one we still yet to complete because we run a lot of compost and stuff but all the three gonna add a hundred percent of our growth space and the nice thing about it is that i mean this is our crab apple tree and uh, this basically just symmetrical on either side you have three beds so eventually we're going to mulch the entire thing with wood chips so there will be no vegetation besides the beds and i think it's going to look really nice uh, another thing that we did this spring is plant five fruit trees and uh, soon after this video i'm going to plant four climbing roses in between them and all this area up to maybe a few feet next tree gonna get mulched so everything gonna get mulched from here to here and then we don't have to spend so much time pulling weeds and you know the soil is gonna be protected all the energy just gonna go to the fruit trees and the roses we planted so I can't wait to show you more growth there uh, I think we're actually gonna get rose flower this first summer so that would be lovely um, the I think last thing we did well second to the last thing we did is planting those perennial beds um, they're so successful we're so grateful to get this garden in the box from our local uh, resource and they really know what's grown here what's not and those has not been giving me any problems and look at all the girls and the flowers on them we totally did not expect them to flower the first year but look at those but they totally did so they're happy here and uh, we're happy they're happy here um the last thing we did is we started chipping away those trees slowly we only did one third of it we still have to tackle all that and that but now we have like squirrels and the american robin living in those bushes so it's kind of a little hard to to decide to destroy their home so we'll see how far we get but you know we're planning to remove all the chilling fence and build a new fence there to meet the neighbors next month so those trees has to go um, that's another reason I'm planning uh, more climbing stuff and I'm actually gonna plant another honeysuckle next to the shed with a little shade and uh, I heard that's a really good nest for American Robin and we're gonna put birdhouse there and etc and hopefully they stay in our yard because they're really lovely lovely birds uh, <laughs> Okay, this is back of the house. So I haven't showed this view for a very long time. Um, not much has changed since we greeted the whole thing, did the patio, did the, all the furnace and um, water heater PVC pipe is still sticking out there. I was like, oh, let's make art out of it, like a peacock or something, but we haven't really done that. Um, the lovely thing about spring and early summer is that everything grows like crazy so we got our cactus and uh, pineapple out and they're all doing really really well and on this side is our side i mean it's funny that we call this patio two sides the bigger side is the dog side we usually put the dog back there and they just lunge and drink water from a water can or whatever and this side it's the human side you know we got a smaller deal smaller end of the stick um, we got our griddle there uh, fire pit we recently refinished those two seats lovely oh shit <laughs> got cigarettes Slav's so approaching at the end of the cycle um, of grant um, deadline and when he's really really close to that line he he's stressed and he sometimes smoke a little I promise 99% of the time he does not smoke otherwise I would have interfered but you know next Wednesday is deadline so I can't wait for that to be over 
um, we got a fire pit stuff here so um, we usually just have fire at night and just pull out the wood and here and any wood that we cut newly cut we put it next to the shed you know on those bricks and they were dry there I still have a bunch of branches from last time we cut the tree um, so that's pretty much it you know the really change happened in the office and uh, the yard and uh, we're very happy to have this six vegetable bed put in and you see you can see Colorado summer is really taking a toll on our grass uh, it doesn't matter how much we water they're just not growing so this mulching around this six beds gonna probably reduce 25 to 30 percent of the grass area on the sunny side and hopefully they will really keep the weeds down and everything um, so that's the one year house tour you've seen everything new here the office the dog the bed you know all the planting um, the cigarettes <laughs> and uh, here's the Roxy Roxy say bye to the internet and say happy anniversary at the ranch